What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now we have some big information to discuss here about Metroid Prime 2 Remastered coming to the Nintendo Switch due to some recently revealed leaks and rumors from a credible source regarding this game coming very soon. And later on in the video we will discuss how this could tie in very closely to the actual release date timing for Metroid Prime 4. So if you are excited for the next Metroid Prime game to come to Nintendo Switch, please hit the like button and we will get started. So as we covered extensively back in February of 2023, Nintendo shadow dropped Metroid Prime Remastered on the Nintendo Switch and we live streamed the entire game twice. Then we followed that up with a very detailed review, one of the most I've done on the channel, regarding everything about Metroid Prime Remastered and looking forward in anticipation to Metroid Prime 2 and 3 coming to the Nintendo Switch shortly thereafter or within months. And to follow it up during that time, Jeff Grubb did rumor back in February that Metroid Prime 2 and 3 were in fact also coming to the Nintendo Switch and he was the guy that rumored that Metroid Prime Remastered was coming to the Switch in the first place Yes, he was actually incorrect at first, which he originally rumored was going to be revealed in late 2022 for a release during that time. However, Nintendo decided to push it back and then reveal it and release it on the same day in February of 2023 to much of our surprise and excitement because many people had thought that quite possibly Nintendo had canceled any type of Metroid Prime trilogy coming to the Nintendo Switch and maybe they were just going to be releasing Metroid Prime 4 and that was it. However, that was not the case, thankfully, and we did get that very gorgeous Metroid Prime Remastered back in February. So because Jeff Grubb did get the timing range correct regarding Metroid Prime Remastered, it was within a few months of him talking about it and then it being revealed. We will give him some credit here for the rumor now and leak, basically, of Metroid Prime 2 Remastered coming to the Nintendo Switch within just a few months from now from what it appears. And in his recent podcast, he talked about that Metroid Prime 2 Remastered is in fact coming soon-ish, which could mean in the next few months. And he also brought out that Nintendo will, of course, be having another Nintendo Direct in the September timeframe, which we all expect that they would have, and hinted that quite possibly this could be the time range when Metroid Prime Remastered and a new Zelda game that's not in relation to Tears of the Kingdom could be revealed as well. And in regards to that Zelda game, I'm putting my money on a 2D new Zelda game. And I discussed this in my recent live stream about why I feel this way. But regardless of Zelda, Metroid Prime 2 Remastered, he did rumor that the game is coming soonish and it looks like it's coming this year. My bet is that Nintendo is going to be revealing this game in their yearly September Direct and quite possibly another Shadow Drop, which means that we will be playing it the same day that they announce it. Very similar to what they did with Metroid Prime Remastered in February of 2023 of this year. I do think that they could easily do this yet again with Metroid Prime 2 Remastered. They'll announce it. Here it is, ready to go, and then we'll play it right on this channel, probably the same day, same night, just like what we did with Metroid Prime Remastered back then in February, which would be really exciting. And I kind of do hope they do that because that was a really nice, exciting way to introduce the game and people were riding high in the hype. They came by to check it out. That was a lot of fun. But either way, if they don't decide to do that or if they do, the game is going to be very, very good to play on the Nintendo Switch since most people have been playing it either with old consoles or via emulation, like with Dolphin, for example, with what I have been doing on my channel, showing various mods with graphics and how the game could look in HD on the Nintendo Switch with various modifications that we've shown here. Now, in regards to this rumor by Jeff Grubb, I had an interesting discussion on my live stream today during Metroid Prime 3 that I was playing on my channel with my chat, and the question came up that since Jeff Grubb originally rumored that Metroid Prime Remastered was gonna be revealed in 2022, late 2022, and then he was incorrect, and then Nintendo went and revealed it and released it same day in February, there was some speculation going on, and I've seen this countless times on Twitter and on other YouTube comment sections that people actually think that Nintendo delayed Metroid Prime Remastered, the one in February that was released, that they actually delayed it because it was rumored by Jeff Grubb. And just to spite that rumor, Nintendo pushed it back to February. Now, I discussed this in my live stream about my thoughts about leaks versus rumors and all this information, all this speculation regarding this type of tactic and if Nintendo actually did this. So please take a look at this brief clip and then we'll be right back to discuss. I feel like Nintendo goes against the Lakers and rumors when they are announced. 
I think they intended on announcing Prime Remaster, but decided to shadow drop in spy leakers. No, no. That that is that is really silly. I heard I heard people say that they they delayed the Prime Remaster just to spite Jeff Grubb, one one guy. You do you honestly think Nintendo plans their their marketing strategies around what leakers say? No, absolutely not, guys. Come on, let's be real. Timing for when they wanted to release Switch 2 is probably around, uh, the same. Has a lot to do with how they announced these, these game releases. So if there's a slight like six month delay in Switch 2, then it makes sense that they would push back certain releases a couple a couple months. Has nothing to do with what some 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 guy says online. And people live in a very small world, and they have a very hard time seeing the big picture with companies and how they do business like it's got nothing to do with what some guy says on twitter oh he said that let's delay the game <laughs> like come on man seriously of course you know they may feel like they're doing that uh a, a lot of these guys a lot of these guys who rumor stuff they have a um false sense of self-importance like uh nintendo really doesn't care about these guys at all so they they may think they're really important, but in the eyes of Nintendo, they don't mean anything to them because they're focused on running a business. Multi-billion dollar business. They could care less about what what some guy says online as a rumor, a possible rumor. They don't care about that. What they do care about, though, is leaks. Actually leaking a product? Yeah, they don't like that. Investors want you to make money for your company, and if you're a boss, that is like the dumbest thing to do. I'm going to, del I'm going to delay us making money. Okay, because some guy, because I want to spite some guy's rumor. Like, think about that. Would you really be a, the president of a multi-billion dollar company if you had a mindset like that? No. So that, that's why a lot of these guys don't are not running multi-billion dollar companies. They sit there and rumor things, which costs nothing and doesn't like hurt a company really. Company's business line. Uh, here's here's Furukawa. Oh my gosh. I'm reading Twitter. Look what this guy said about the game coming out next month. Let's delay it, guys, because it's going to spite him. And let's not make the money that we were planning on making on that game to spite the guy making the rumor. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sure the board the board of directors would be like, that's a great idea for Wakawa. Be like, are you nuts? Like, you no, know, we're going to race the game and... Like, whatever. We'll, we'll worry about the guys who are leaking stuff. We'll take care of them behind the scenes, right? The one guy that leaked GTA 6 pretty much got away with it after Rockstar tried to go after him. Yeah, that's a different story, though. He actually leaked he actually leaked footage of the game in development, which is, like, a big no-no. That's, like, really bad. That's, like, an actual leak. That's not just, like, some rumor some guy said about something coming. Possibly coming. So there you have it. Now, in regards to leaks versus rumors, this information from Jeff Grubb could be considered a leak and a rumor at the same time since he got the information right on Metroid Prime Remastered. You gotta think that at this point, if they're releasing Metroid Prime Remastered, they're gonna go ahead and release Metroid Prime 2 and 3. And since the first game has already been proved correct through that original rumor, it gives much more credence to the next rumor of the next game coming to the Nintendo Switch. How Nintendo views this, like I said in my live stream, I don't think Nintendo views this as a legitimate leak. It's not like he's leaking gameplay footage or he's actually leaking something else in direct connection to Nintendo that can get them into trouble. It's just his words and his two cents being thrown out there for people to take at face value and to judge whether or not it has any credence. Obviously, since he got the other rumor correct, that's why people are considering this somewhat of a leak and personally myself as well. So I do think this is exciting. However, at this point, I don't think this is something Nintendo is really caring about in terms of, oh, there's a rumor out there that Metroid Prime 2 Remastered is coming. Of course, there's going to be rumors like that. Since Metroid Prime Remastered and Trilogy was rumored for the last five years, Nintendo has to expect that the rumors are going to continue. So I don't think Nintendo has any plans or any relation at all to delaying the game based on somebody's rumor out there. I think that's just preposterous like I said in the live stream today. I think it has more to do with Nintendo's plans as far as what they're releasing in their fiscal years. I think it has more to do with how much money they're planning on making and when to place their marketing for the games to be released and for Switch 2 and also in conjunction with that, the release of Metroid Prime 4, which if 
Metroid Prime 2 is released in September or October of this year, it leads credence to believe that Metroid Prime 3 will follow suit and also be released around the February time frame as Metroid Prime 1 Remastered was in 2023. So if you think about Metroid Prime 3 being released about four months, five months or so after Metroid Prime 2 in February range of 2024, that would possibly mean if Switch 2 is in fact released in 2024 as recent court documents from Microsoft themselves has basically hinted at or strongly suggested that it is releasing next year, then the release timing for Metroid Prime 2 if it's this year coincides very closely with the pending release of Metroid Prime 4, which will likely then come towards the summertime or towards the holiday time even for 2024 as a cross-gen release on the Nintendo Switch and the Switch 2. So all these release time periods, as we could see, February of 2023, Metroid Prime Remastered was released, even though there's rumors of it being announced and released in 2022, quite possibly since Nintendo may have originally planned for the release of Switch 2 to be in 2023, it may have been pushed back by about six months or so to 2024, March time frame, summer time frame in 2024, thus making more sense for Nintendo to delay the release of Metroid Prime Remastered to early 2023 and then stagger the releases of Metroid Prime 2 and 3 to follow that within that year, basically 2023 through 2024, to then hype up the release of Metroid Prime 4 towards the end of 2024. So do you follow me? <laughs> I think it makes a lot of sense though when you look at it that way. As far as the marketing is concerned, these games are remasters, remakes, what have you, of games that have been released many, many years ago. So all this is actually building up towards the marketing campaign of Metroid Prime 4. You could actually think of Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3 as part of Metroid Prime 4's marketing campaign. And it all started back in February of 2023 which means that in 2024, guys, we could be playing next-gen Nintendo Switch 2 and Metroid Prime 4 in the same year. Now that is something extremely exciting. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you are excited about Metroid Prime 2, and for the coming release of Metroid Prime 3 and Metroid Prime 4, please hit that like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section and we will discuss, and I'll talk to you very soon in the next video. Have a great day.